Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm going to go over the skill line DBC that basically controls all your professions and skills. This is just going to be a basic introduction tutorial. It's actually a response to someone who commented on one of my YouTube videos. So Swing and Dig says, Hi Dinkle Dork, thanks for your videos. They've been super helpful. If you have time, would you be able to show a quick video of how to edit the amount of levels a profession craft gives? For example, making rough blasting powder go yellow at level 5 green at 10 and then gray at 15. I think mean, he's talking about Azeroth core. So this is actually applicable for every core for the most part. So first thing first, we're going to go ahead and look up the spell for rough blasting powder. So just open up your spell editor or spell.dbc, look for rough blasting powder. Make sure it's the one that says create item. This down here, by the way, is the actual item that gets created. And this is also how you would create actual new items too. Um, but I won't go into that in this video. I'm just gonna, I'm just going to go over this real quick. So then we're going to go ahead and open up our skill line ability dbc in our server folder, right? With wdbx editor, and we're going to go ahead and search for the spell 3918, which is our rough blasting powder. This row right here is the row for what skill it is. So 202 is actually engineering. And then the spell, that's pretty much obvious. Race mask, this is if you want to restrict which races can pick this up. Class, excluding races, exclude classes. Honestly, you probably never use those two. This is min minimum skill line of rank, which is like apprentice or whatever the first one is. And this is basically the required skill or rank one is, if there was like a rank one rough blasting powder, that's where this would be if this was rank two. But anyway, um, acquire method. This is acquired when you actually learn the profession. And then this right here is our bread and butter for what we want to do. So this skill line rank low, this is when the skill turns yellow. This right here, 40, is where it turns gray. So back to the question, if we wanted to do yellow at five, green at 10, and then gray at 15, you actually can't do that. What you have to do is basically we're figuring yellow and gray. So, and then somewhere in between is where green will show up automatically. So it's, 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 it's like right in between 40 and 20. And I'll show you real quick. Right now I learned engineering, right? I'm at skill level one. If I set skill to 20, then it becomes yellow. If I set skill to 30, then it becomes green, right? So it's between those two numbers. And then if I set skill to 40, then it becomes gray. So with regards to your question, I can't really do like a, if you're going to use odd numbers like that, yeah, it's going to be a little bit harder. So let's, let's just focus on, again, the numbers that you provided. So yellow at five, right? Where did that go? So we'd change that to five, which is the, the low skill rank, the yellow skill rank. And then gray is 15. And then your your green is going to be somewhere between those two values. And that's really it. So go ahead and hit save. Exit out of that. Restart your server. Close down your client. Open up Latix MPQ editor. Go into your DB files client. Copy over the skill line ability DBC that you just made. Hit yes to overwrite. Close it. Start up the server again. And we're going to go back into our client. And we're going to check things out. So we're going to open up engineering. We're going to test things out. So I'm going to set skill 202 because that's the engineering, right? We're going to go down to one. All right. So set skill 202.5 is when it turns yellow. Set skill. And let's just see actually when it turns green. So it's either it's going to be like at eight, maybe seven, maybe not. <laughs> okay. So I guess at 10 is when it decided to turn green. That's unexpected, but whatever. We're learning here, right? So it's possible that it goes in five integer values, and that's why it turns green at that point. So I guess keep that in mind when you're modifying these skills. So let's just go ahead and set skill 202, 15, and then it's gray. Right, so I guess you actually did end up getting your wish. So yellow at five, green at 10, gray at 15. So it's probably, like I said, five integer values. So just keep that in mind. 
But yeah, I mean, that's really it for this video. I do want to do another video on creating like new profession items. Uh, I did that for Noth's special brew, for example. So item Noth's special. So yeah, so this recipe is actually something that you get from the Death Knight starting zone, if you remember, it's the Cauldron quest. I found it was super annoying and frustrating that you couldn't actually get it later on. And so I went ahead and made it a profession. I turned it into a recipe. You could you could also put it on a trainer. That's that's super easy. And then I put it as a drop on Baron Rivendare. So you can actually get this in game right now. And then obviously I made up some items that you need to craft it. But yeah, I'll just go over that in another video. If you have any questions about anything or there's something you would like to cover, I love doing response videos. These have been really fun for me. Just leave a comment down in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. So yeah, more than happy to help out and uh, hope you guys have a great night and I will see you on the other side of Azeroth.